My first one here is someone I was very high on last year, and I've seen the errors of my ways, and that's Zeke Elliott. Uh, he is dead to me. I think he's dead to most people in fantasy. and He doesn't even have a team right now after getting cut from the Cowboys. Obviously, he will sign somewhere. It's not like he's, you know, just got nothing left. But, I mean, you've seen him over the last three seasons – uh, his yards per carry has gone down every year. He's been less and less involved in the passing game for whatever reason there in Dallas. Um, he obviously had this giant cap hit uh, or giant salary, uh, which was part of the reason why he got cut. Um, he hasn't been able to stay healthy. Uh, it's just, and it's not like major injuries, but it's always something that dings him up and slows him down a little bit, which is not what you want. So I think, I think we've seen the end of, of peak Zeke here. And he, like I said, he is dead to me unless he falls like extremely far in a draft. Um, then maybe I would take him depending on where he lands. But um, at this point, yeah, he's essentially off my draft board. There is something so harsh about the way that you just uh, said he's dead to me. That he's... I really can't grasp. Like, I know that's the concept of the episode, but holy shit. That just came in like a sword taking off his head. Um, I, and I, for what it's worth, I mean, I'm basically with you. Like, I, you know, we, we ha- we've had a lot of back and forth about Zeke on this podcast. And I will, I will say, you know, the, for whatever reason he's seen his target share decline is because Tony Pollard is fantastic. Well, I, right. Um, and should have been used in that role probably a lot sooner than he even was. Zeke has a couple of landing spots. Where it's like you can get usability out of them mm-hmm. if, if things fall perfectly, but I, I have to bank on that. I basically have to bank on touchdowns. It's really the Adam Thielen thing, mm-hmm. but with Zeke, you have to bank on touchdowns, and you don't even get the exuberant uh, wonderfulness of Jamal Williams. Let's say you know another touchdown right. reliant guy, but you know you can you can get behind Jamal. I mean, if, if Zeke would have signed with Detroit, I would have said, yes, I, I would, he would not have made this list. Cause I would just assumed he would get like 12 touchdowns this next season <laughs> by vulturing all of Swift's. So that did not happen, however. So that's why he's right. off my board. 